Hi there and welcome to another Vox Singing Academy online student concerts. This is the untinked one that we've had and they've all been very successful. So thank you for all the views and the likes. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, if we could help you, if Vox Singing Academy could help you or someone that you know with their singing, please check out the links below. We have six studios, uh, eight teachers, males and females. Uh, we also have the ultimate online singing course. So, uh, we'd be absolutely honoured if we could help you or someone that you know with their singing. For everyone that's viewing on YouTube, please be positive, supportive, polite and constructive with your criticism. Um, this is a beginner to intermediate show and is to, to uh, gain valuable stage experience, especially while we're here in Victoria in stage four a lockdown. Without any further ado, let's get stuck straight into the student concert. And I would like to welcome Priyanka to the camera and to the stage for the second time in her uh, illustrious career so far. Everybody, let's put our hands together for the beautiful Priyanka. Woo! Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Priyanka and I'm from Darwin. Today I'm going to sing. Um, Little Things uh, by Jessica Marboy. You don't say I'm pretty. Not like you used to. And I never admit it. I'm trying so hard for you. But all of the moments I treasure in the morning you remember Don't know why I can keep it together long enough to try I make big things out of late things And I watch you keep missing me You don't get why it's killing me Every time you Myself on fire to keep us so warm. I swear I lose my mind watching you ignore all the Priyanka, that was uh, absolutely uh, fantastic, and especially to be thrown off the cuff there to open up the show. Uh, great work. That was Priyanka's uh, second ever 
uh, performance and she's done really, really well. Uh, when Priyanka started lessons with me, I was uh, putting the student concerts forward uh, for her to do, just to get some experience like everyone else. And she goes, no, I'm never going to perform ever. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. And this is her second performance. And I have said to Priyanka that I think that she's got a fantastic voice and needs to definitely look beyond um, what she's doing in Darwin there and being a doctor. Um, so uh, that was absolutely fantastic. And, and it's just Jessica Melboy is um, no, uh, no pushover either. She's a, an amazing singer. You did, did a fantastic job. So that was really, really great, Priyanka. <clears throat> Thank you, everyone. Without any further ado, let's keep the, uh, the concert rolling. And uh, we will uh, welcome the next performer here who's doing his first online um, singing concert. He has done one of our singing concerts before uh, at the Palace Hotel, but let's everybody put our hands together for Nick. Yes. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Thanks, Priyanka. Uh, yeah, this is a slightly topical Folsom Prison Blues by Jenny Cash, so I won't kill too much time. <laughs> I hear that train a-coming, it's rolling round the bend, and I have seen the sunshine since, I don't know when, I'm stuck in false in prison, and time keeps dragging on, but that train keeps rolling, oh darn and sad man. when I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, Always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. When I hear that whistle blowing, I hang my head and dining car. They're probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars. Well, I know I had it coming. I know I can't be free. But those people keep a moving and that's what fortune is. From this prison, if that railroad train was mine, I bet I'd move it on a little farther down the line. Far from Folsom Prison, that's where I want to stay. And I'd let that lonesome whistle blow my blues up. Yeah, thank you Thanks for the opportunity to perform. Fantastic. That was really great, Nick. I really enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> as you can see, Nick is, a, Nick is a performer. If you want any um, advice on doing circus tricks or <laughs> fitness or uh, particularly martial arts, Nick is my martial arts instructor. And every Friday evening, um, Nick beats the living daylights out of me. But uh, I just want to also just bring out the point of, of getting a great instructor because I've learnt more from Nick uh, in the last probably six months of my martial arts uh, journey than what I have in the last 14 or 15 years. So just a great tutor in any way is, is absolutely fantastic and, and, and Nick's been exceptional and uh, i like to thank, firstly thank Nick for my development and my confidence in, in, in my martial arts. So thank you very much. But that was a great performance there, Nick. Not that I can juggle or do anything that you're doing. So excellent work. Woo. Thanks so much, boss. 
Okay, guys, without any further ado, we're going to get stuck into uh, the next rock god here, who uh, whose hair whose hair looks amazing. You you make you making my little chicken arms look uh, look look even skinnier than what they are, Luke. Let's welcome to the camera and to the stage, Luke. Hey. What's up? I'm going to be doing Adore You by Harry Styles. Walk in your rainbow paradise Strawberry lipstick state of mind I get so lost inside your eyes Would you believe it? You don't have to say you love me You don't have to say nothing You don't have to say you're mine Honey, I walk through fire for you Just let me adore you Oh honey, I walk through fire for you just let me adore you Like it's the only thing I'd ever do Like it's the only thing I'd ever do Your wonder under summer skies Brown skin and lemon over ice would you believe it? You don't have to say you love me. I just want to tell you something. Lately, you've been on my mind. Honey, I walk through fire for you. Just let me adore you. Oh, honey, I walk through fire for you. Just let me adore you Like it's the only thing I'd ever do Like it's the only thing I'd ever do Walk through fire for you, just let me adore you. Oh, honey, I walk through fire for you, just let me adore you. Like it's the only thing I, I walk through fire for you, just let me adore you. Oh, honey. Walk through fire for you, just let me adore you. Just let me adore you, like it's the only thing I'd ever do. Yeah. I know that. Appreciate it. Fantastic work there, Luke. Uh, that was really, really great. Really, really proud of you, mate. You've done, you've put in a lot of, um, you might not have seen it since you started, but you've really, really improved. Your pitch has improved. Your pitch was, it was, oh, it was okay when we first started and that was probably being nice. Um, so you've come a long way with your pitch. Your falsettos through the roof. Uh, I know that you put in a lot of work and dedication and it, Luke's worked really hard. I know that one instance, um, when these lockdowns, these hard lockdowns happened, um, Luke was running a little bit late from uh, from work to get back to home to get his uh, to get to his online lesson, and we actually had an online lesson in his car, um, and he pulled over to the side of the road, and we just had a lesson there. So that's that's the sort of dedication that uh, that you need if you, if you want to improve. Watching as well, I when I first started these lessons, I 
could not do falsetto whatsoever, and he taught me how to do it. So, yeah, we've done we've done a lot of work on that. My focus points with Luke has been the number one point was was pitch to start with, and then and then working on on the falsetto, and then then you mouth so you've uh, you've done very very well and we're looking forward to uh to, to hearing some original songs let's keep the uh keep the show rolling here it's been fantastic and entertaining as well too had a bit of a boogie then which was uh which was great i'm gonna let ryan introduce the uh the the, the next student here take it all away. right <clears throat> so the next uh performer is sierra so sierra has been um been uh getting lessons for a little little while now i think it's like three three months i think something like that um and she's worked really, really hard on her on her high range and her true voice. Um, she used to sing in head voice a lot, but she's doing fantastic with everything there. So, um, so yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Sierra. Um, she's 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 got a really big song today, so and she's doing a fantastic job on it. So, without any further ado, I'm going to let her take over and introduce herself uh, before I say anything else to embarrass her. <laughs> Today I will be singing Summer Over the Rainbow. Woo!
Fantastic. Thank you so much. <laughs> great. Um, just, just a word out there. Um, uh, Sierra, have you performed before? Um, yes, uh, not, not on, online, but I have for school plays and stuff. Okay, no problems at all. All right, no. I'll, uh, I'll send. So this is the first time you've performed at a Vox concert? Yes. Yeah, okay, all right. I'll send you out a first lesson uh, certificate. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was uh, that was excellent. All right, fantastic. Let's let's uh, let's keep it rolling here. That was really really good. And the uh, the next student here that we're going to be uh, introducing is uh, Ian. Everybody, put your hands together for Ian today. Thank you. Uh, thanks for thanks very much, everyone. I'll be doing um, Bob Dylan's "Blowing in the Wind." Woo! How many roads must a man walk down before you call him a man? How many seas must a white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand? How many times must the cannonballs fly before they're poor and were bad? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. How many years can a mountain exist before it's washed to the sea? How many years can some people exist before they're allowed to be free? How many times can a man turn his head and pretend that he just doesn't see? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. How many times must a man look up before he can see the sky? How many years must one man have before he can hear people cry? How many deaths will it take till he knows that too many people have died? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. Fantastic work, Ian. Really, really proud of you, mate. That was uh, that was exceptional. That was really, really good. Um, again, with Ian, we've sort of really worked on on stamina. Um, with Ian and and also he's pitched and he's done very, very well. Ian is is in a band as well too. Uh, they're on obviously a hiatus, but really looking forward to Ian performing uh, with his band in the future and, and and all of us as well too gathering around and performing hopefully shortly. Um, at, uh, at our venue at the Campbellwell Hotel, so we can also get out and about and, and do that stuff. But that was absolutely fantastic, Ian. Yeah, thanks, uh, Peter, and uh, yeah, uh, helping me with the stamina. That stamina, that's to keep me awake, because being an old guy, I might fall asleep this afternoon. So. <laughs> <laughs> Caffeine. <laughs> All right, guys, we are down to the, uh, the, the home stretch here. And I don't think Emily is on board uh, because she's actually teaching 
uh, today. Emily uh, teaches seven days a week. Uh, she's uh, my most busy teacher and my most, one of my most dedicated teachers, and she's doing a great job. So she said that she might not be able to make today's class, uh, or sorry, concert because she's teaching. Um, so I will uh, introduce the next, uh, the next student is uh, one of Emily's uh, prize students, one of her babies, as she, as she calls, calls them. And uh, I'd like to uh, introduce Ella to the camera and to the stage. Hi everybody, my name is Ella Danuzzo and obviously I'm one of Emily's students and today I'm going to be singing The Show Must Go On by Queen. Oh, big song. <laughs> <laughs> Empty spaces, what are you living for? Banging places, I guess we know the score. On and on, does anybody know what we are looking for? Another field, another mind's cry behind the curtain. In the fence of mine, close the line. Does anybody want to take it anymore? So must go on. So must go on. Inside my heart is breaking. My makes a living making by my smile. Big song. <laughs>
Fantastic. <laughs> Very big. <laughs> what are those key changes? That was great. Fantastic. All righty. Well, that's, uh, I don't think Maria's on board, so we will wrap things up. Um, I'll just hand the mics over to the, uh, to the two teachers that are here today. If they want to say anything, then I'll say uh, just something to sort of finish up. But just regarding that song, it's an it's a, a absolutely huge song, and I think it's a fitting way and, and a fitting uh, song for what Victoria is going through at the moment. Show must go on. Hopefully everyone's making the most of uh, this, this time here. I know that I am. I'm busier than what I've ever been uh, with numerous uh, numerous things as well too. That was Freddie Mercury's uh, swan song. That was the last song he ever sung. And if anyone knows the history about that song, he was very, very ill. And I think he was actually laying down uh, before the performance and he uh, conjured up enough strength to come in and, and sing that song. He, I think he had a shot of uh, a shot of some sort of alcohol or smoke and then just bung that song out in one take. Uh, mm -hmm. It's an absolutely amazing song. I think he I think he passed away very shortly, a few hours after after putting that song uh, song down. But the, the show must go on and it was an absolutely uh, fantastic rendition there. It was great. I love the little uh, nuances and the changes that you did uh, as well too. Uh, within the song so it was we worked a lot on that <laughs> on adapting the song to ella's personal style which she already has developed which i'm very happy to hear and look at us we're twinning in yellow yay <laughs> <laughs> i'm so happy i made it to catch the song ella ah you made me so proud <laughs> <laughs> good. yeah Brian, yeah you want to say anything before I before I wrap things up here? Yeah, yeah. I just want to say to everyone, well done to everyone. Like you know, you guys did a great job. Everyone sang different songs as well, so you can't you can't compare any of those songs with each other. They're all very different. Um, but yeah, like great work, guys. Keep up the good work um, with whatever point your teacher is working with you, so, so that you always raise up to the next level and try and do do the best you can each time you sing. Um, there's always something to learn from singing. I, I'm continuously learning myself. It's a lifelong thing. And um, the, the most important thing is that you have fun along the way while you're singing as well. Thanks, guys. Well said, Ryan. That was excellent. And do you want to say anything before I wrap things up? Sorry, are you, are you asking me, Peter? <laughs> You want to say anything else, and before I wrap things up? Uh, yeah. Yes, I would. Yeah. First of all, I, my apologies that I wasn't here from the start. Another student wanted a lesson, and you know, we have to sacrifice the fun stuff for the work, uh, even though it's a fun work. I wanted to say thank you, like a public thank you and note of acknowledgement to Peter, to you, our boss and mentor. You are our teacher as well. And thank you for uh, transferring the business model of the school and the learning experience for students so, so, so quickly to online and to the contemporary realities with the pandemic and everything. Um, it's incredibly important that we keep this side of the normality. We keep the practice going. We keep improving, uh, even though we're like in a cocoon right now. Once the spring has sprung and we all emerge victorious, we need to be all improved. So um, I want to urge everybody who feels um, a little down, just start learning new things. Yes, um, everybody, who my, everybody, everyone I know, every single person is learning something right now. If you don't, you will just get depressed. Yeah, it's it's incredibly important. Sun shines today, a little cloudy in Melbourne, a little windy. Go out for a walk, wear your mask, <laughs> have a seat <laughs> at home, a record. And most importantly for all students, I will go and watch the concert as soon as it's published. I'm super excited to watch everybody sing whom I missed today. Um, so a little challenge for everyone who sang today, start your own YouTube channel if you don't have it yet and start posting your songs. Yes, aim for a song a week, at least it doesn't matter whether it's good or bad. This way you will be able to see your own progress um, in a year from now and go, wow, that was a challenging time and I stepped up and I did the, made the most of it. Massive hugs to everyone. Massive hugs and virtual high fives. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Very well put, Emily. Um, just so you know, everyone, I've got like a practice mat here. So this is a new skill I've been doing. I've been practicing drums. I don't have a drum kit anymore, but I just practice. So every day I'm doing that as well. Something simple, you know. It's better than a fidget, fidget spinner. <laughs> it's just a simple thing you can do. Yeah, I know that Emily is also learning a new, new language as well too. So, yeah, it's always good to... Um, you know, learn new things and experience new things as well too. So that's uh, absolutely fantastic. Okay, I just want to uh, say thank you to all the performers that performed here today um, and, and their family and friends as well too for their support. I thought that the quality of today's concert was exceptional and we need to uh, keep on striving. Voxing and Kevin needs to keep on striving to keep that high quality up. So thank you very much for all of that. Uh, I just want to thank all the, the past and present Vox Singing um, Academy students that have used our services since 1993. We appreciate you and thank you very much for, uh, for, for always supporting us and, and, and for, for making us uh, survive this long, uh, which, is, which is an absolute honour. I want to thank all of my past Vox Singing Academy uh, employees, past and present as well too, that have made us what we are here today. But I want to have a particular shout out to all of my uh, present employees, and I have quite a, a few of them that also run the, the machine, uh, the back end of the machine, uh, Danielle, uh, Rience, Emily, um, Ryan, uh, Pete uh, in Sweden um, does our development, uh, Danielle works from home raising her kids, um, Chirag over in India, Suzanne, um, Dylan, Regan, Jason, Sala, Sherry. Um, so without all you guys, and I think I just want to thank you all, 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 like my family. So thank you very much. Love you all. Um, and I just want to say, if we can help you or someone that you know with their singing, please let us know. We'd be absolutely honoured. Uh, we have online singing lessons all around the world, running seven days a week, courtesy of Emily. Uh, we have six Melbourne studios, and we'll be glad that once we can go out and get back into the six Melbourne studios, we also have the ultimate online singing course if you uh, don't want to have face-to-face -face lessons. But uh, thank you very much, everyone out there, for watching. Thank you for today's concert. I had a, I had a blast today. I had, I had a lot of fun today, and the performers are really great. So uh, thank <laughs> you. I'm gonna ha I will be posting this up on to Skype pretty shortly. Uh, sorry, uh, YouTube pretty shortly. It'll be available on Skype in two minutes. Uh, it'll be on Skype uh, later this evening. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys. I, uh, as Jeff Fenix says, I love you all. Whee! Have a lovely week, everyone. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.